Alice Gilliland here at Jeffrey Field for Penn State's clash with in-state rival Robert Morris. Penn State is coming off of a confidence-boosting draw with fifth-ranked Cal, and they continued their impressive play tonight with a 1-0 win over the Colonials. Penn State kicked things off tonight just the way they ended things on Friday night against Cal, creating opportunities in space and finding space behind the back line of the defense. Connor Maloney and Owen Griffith put some early pressure on Robert Morris, but cannot capitalize on some solid early chances. 15 minutes into the first half, Shane Campbell received a pretty cross, but knocked his header wide left. Eight minutes later, same exact spot, but another header wide from Campbell. Late in the first half, Penn State's opportunities steadily increased, and they drew first blood in the 34th minute. Mason Clerks put a through ball to the foot of Wadid. The freshman striker made a man miss in the box, and he put one past the hands of Joseph Kuda to put the Nittany Lions on top 1-0. That goal was Wadid's second of the season, and the only goal for either team in the first half. Now on to the second half, Robert Morris dictated much of the action, putting pressure on Siler Howard and the Penn State defense. Three minutes into the half, Robert Morris had their best chance of the match, but sophomore striker Bruce Cullen sailed his shot high of the goal. The Colonials pressed for much of the half, they controlled the tempo, but could not find the back of the net. Penn State's defense was solid again, only allowing six total shots, reserving Penn State's third shutout in four home matches. With the 1-0 shutout of Robert Morris, Penn State improves the 3-2-1. Penn State will finish up their three-game homestand on Sunday against Duquesne at 1 o'clock right here at Jeffrey Field. Penn State has only faced Duquesne one time, a 1-0 win last season. Reporting from Jeffrey Field, I'm Alice Gilloway.